looking at the pound dollar, we have seen the pound dollar just steadily push to the downside here. And uh, over the past few weeks, we've been saying, hey, look at this. This thing is actually looking to the long side. It looks like we're going to be getting a correction up here to the 129.15 level, to that nice little aqua zone. And I still feel like that is playing out over the uh over the past few weeks here and uh, I'm still looking for that move to continue. Looking here at the daily time frame, uh, while we are looking at a, a counter trend type of move, you can see that here on the daily we have put in a new high. This is the second time price has been into this blue zone that we have right here. And if we can break this blue zone at uh, 127.71, I think we could easily go back up into the uh, 1.3 area, okay? So uh, I'm really looking for that to, to happen here uh, this coming week. As we have uh, retested the, the previous high, broken that, this, this zone is getting weaker, so I'm just looking for the, the counter trend long to play out overall in this market. Now, could this be the start of something brand new? Absolutely, but it is too soon to tell that for sure. Right now, we're just seeing the counter trend opportunity really highlight itself, and you can see how well price action has bounced off of the trend line that we drew like a couple months ago, and it still seems to be respecting that level new high and uh, we're looking at uh, it coming up into this yellow zone up here. Looking at the four hour time frame gives us a good perspective of the support and resistance going on here and as you can see here on the four hour time frame we have just barely kissed this zone right here. Just barely just went dook and then it's coming right back down. Now this uh, aqua zone here from the uh, 125.41 down to 125.07 is particularly interesting to me. It's a nice flip-flop zone and it looks really, really pretty for us to push even higher out of this level. So we've gotten a, a breakout, pullback, and then continuation of the move to the upside. So for the the daily and below time frames, I believe that the trend is up on this market and we could be seeing a nice little bounce here even though today is down, it's really just a support resistance type of action as we've just put in a new high. The question is how well is this level going to hold when price comes back down there? So I'm looking for price to bounce off of it and push even higher. Moving over to the euro pound, you can see on the weekly time frame we've uh, put in a new high, put a new zone down here, and now we're at a, a very interesting retracement area. Is this level going to hold or not in the big grand scheme of things? Okay. Technically speaking, there is some weakness to this zone. Okay. And uh, just with the world politics into consideration, I would say it's going to break. Okay. But from a technical standpoint, because it's been hit the way that it's been hit and whatnot, I think that it could break as well. And as we move over to the daily time frame, uh, you know, and how long do we think this is going to take as far as uh, really retesting this level to see if it's going to hold or if it's going to break? And right now you can see uh, all the times that price has retested this level, okay? So if we push too much deeper into this level, I really think it's going to break. And I think there's good possibility that it's going to break right now uh, over the up and coming week just because of the the pressure that price is putting down on this level right now okay it seems like it's got uh, possibly some good momentum coming into here because of the consolidation that we have right there wasn't able to hold anything to the uh, buyers weren't really able to come in there at all and you can see the sellers really stepping in at the edge of this zone at 85.67 and as sellers were stepping in there at supply, I think we're going to be getting momentum to the downside. So that's what I'm looking to happen this week. Looking at the four hour time frame, I think this is pretty interesting how price is, uh, again, just like barely 
ticked this zone here at the 8374 and we moved right back up into this four hour resistance level at 8450 okay so just a nice little tick there and right back up into this thing uh, possibly a really nice area to take another short to the downside as we're looking at uh, at pushing lower this up and coming week so uh, very interesting uh, series of price actions here all everything points to the downside from a technical analysis standpoint the real question is where do you get on board do you get on board at the 8550 uh, level or do you get on board here at this nice little aqua zone? Okay, so uh, again, just everything looking to the downside on this market. That's where we are predicting, and uh, we will see how things play out here.